Hello everyone and welcome back to Information Technology Essentials. In this lesson we're going to look at functions in C. So let's go ahead and take a look at the material. So let's go ahead and take a look at functions in C. Functions have several advantages. They allow programs to be more modular and because of that they're easier to maintain, they're easier to test and debug, and they're also, they also improve readability, which also goes to the maintenance and, and testability. So let's go ahead and take a look at the syntax of the code. So here's an example of a function, and you'll get to see more of this function in the lab. But here's a function I've declared called getName, and it's of type void, which means it doesn't return a value. Functions can return a value and increases their modularity so that, and we'll see an example of that here in just a little bit. But in this function, first I've created a string called my name. I print out a prompt to please enter your name. And then we use scanf like we did in our last program to go ahead and allow the user to enter in their name and then print out the results. So this is a self-contained function and notice the matching opening curly brace and ending curly brace. So that's the basic syntax. Let's go ahead and see now how you can execute this function. So now here's a, an example of a simple mainline program. And notice then that I've, I've put in a call to the function getName. So that's really all there is to the syntax of calling this, is just putting in the name of the function along with the parentheses. I should also note that you can pass values to a function. And we'll look at that just a little bit later on in this course. So to compile and run the program, we're going to use the same commands that we've used in the previous labs. We're using the GCC compiler with dash O, which tells it the output, which is hello, and then the, the program that we're compiling, hello.c. And then to execute it, we use the dot slash hello command. Next, let's look at a function that returns a value. In this function called getAge, I'm returning an integer value. So first I declare an internal variable to this function called userAge, and once again I prompt our user to enter your age. We use scanf, this time with the percent %d mask because we're entering in an integer value. And in this case we have to use a pointer to pass the value, so you use the ampersand before the user age. And we're going to talk a lot more about pointers later in this course. And then finally, we return the user age back to our program. OK, now that we've looked at the basic syntax of functions, we're going to go ahead and do our demonstration now. And once again, we're using our Destin Learning Lab site, which uses the Ubuntu Linux and the GNU C compiler. And you can get to the lab at this address. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate our functions in C with the lab environment. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, in the first steps of our lab, it's we, we were going to reconstruct our code from Hello World in the previous lab. So I've gone ahead and done that. So let's go ahead now and compile and run our program. So I'll go ahead and compile it, and we'll run it just to make sure everything is going okay. I'm going to enter in my name. And there we have it. Everything is working fine. So let's go ahead and move to our next step where we're going to create our function. Okay, in our next step we're going to go ahead and create a sample function. So let's go ahead and open up our file that I put in in the previous step. And there we have it. And so now we're going to add a small function here, just pretty much of a stub. So a stub is a good thing to include when you're just getting started with the program and you're making sure that everything works okay. So I'm going to go ahead and paste this in. And here's our stub for our get name uh, function. And now I'm going to add a call into get name at, at the end of our program here. I'm going to add it right here at the very end. So our, our program will function as usual, but now we'll demonstrate how to make a quick and easy function call. So let me go ahead and clean up this comment line a little bit. There we go. So once again, I'll go ahead and compile our program using GCC, and then now I'll go ahead and execute the program as well. I'll enter in my name, 
And notice now we have a line here at the bottom that says, I just got executed. So this is the call to our function, and then it's executing this function here. Pretty simple, but now we can reorganize our code and make it a little bit more efficient. Okay, in our next step, we're going to add move most of our program logic to our get name function. So I've gone ahead and done that. I've loaded this up into the editor. And now the only thing that really that our main program is doing is calling the get name function. So in our get name function, I've created a character variable called my name. We're prompting the user to enter in their name. We're using scanf to read it in. And then finally, in this last section, then we're printing out the hello world my name is and using the percent %s mask for characters and printing out my name. So really, all the, the core logic is in the function now. So let's go ahead. We'll go ahead and exit nano. And we'll go ahead and compile and run our program. So let's go ahead and do that. And here we go. I'll go ahead and issue the hello command. We'll enter in our name. And there we have it. So now most of our logic is moved to our function, which really does make our project in the long run, even though this is a very small project, it will make it a little bit easier to read and to maintain. So let's go ahead and go on to our next section of the lab. So for our fourth section of the lab, we're going to add one more function to our program and we're going to add a get age function. So it's going to prompt in this in this case it's going to return a value. It's going to return an integer value. It's returning user age where we've set up this variable inside the function using printf once again and scanf to return uh, the results. So inside our main line program then we're just adding another call to a function called get age. And so I'm going to go ahead and leave that up to you for the last part of the lab. Go ahead and work through the results here so you get a feel for how to write functions and then how to call them from the mainline programs. So let's go ahead and wrap this lesson up. In summary, we've demonstrated how to use functions and how to write functions in C. We added a small amount of code to our base program to allow the user to enter their name as well as their age and to modularize the input. So that's it for this lesson. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye. Thank you for your interest in this video. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up button. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. And you can check out my classes on my website at courses.destinlearning.com. Thanks again, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.